Okay, Laila. Well, we did the surgery with you. We did the nose correction, cat eyes, brow lift, mid face lift, and the apple shaving, and the breast augmentation. And the bicep pump. And the bicep pump. Oh, the back of the back of the yeah. How was it? How did you, did you have a lot of pain or was it okay? To be honest, I was really scared at first because I'm doing breast augmentation, my full face at the same time on the same surgery, same day. So I was a little bit scared, but actually it was so easy and so fast. I just felt like I was sleeping. I wake up and I felt just cold. But after that, the pain was not so, so, so hard. So mm -hmm. I'm very happy about it. Okay. And you came alone. Mm -hmm. So is it okay to do it, this surgery alone? Honestly, a lot of people told me you're crazy to go alone. But <laughs> I felt strong enough to do it. And actually it's very, it's possible to come alone. The nurse is always there for you at the hospital. Mm -hmm. And after when you go to the hotel, she comes visit you all the time. And uh, the team is always there also. So yeah. I didn't feel alone at all. Okay. Of course, at night you have special nurse. At daytime you have special nurse for yourself. And at hotel, of course, you have follow up nurse. And of course, uh, a lot of people are asking: Is it Turkey grave, uh, gay friendly or trans friendly? What was your f feeling about that? Absolutely, I'm a lover of Turkey before do coming doing surgery here, and I felt very safe, even if I go out alone. Or today I went shopping, for example, mm -hmm. and everyone was very friendly to me. So it's very LGBTQ uh, friendly. Okay, great. Now let's talk about some technical issues about the surgery. Mm -hmm. um, so we did the Adam's apple shaving. Doctor, can you tell us more about this surgery? Actually, these are very complex <coughs> surgeries and very specialized surgeries that they, they should be done by expense surgeons. And people actually they don't know know about it these surgeries and they because we can share it on Instagram or social media or Google and actually we these types of surgeries really very frequently mm -hmm. and we can combine them actually this very complex surgery with too much surgeries and it takes only two hours and fifty minutes yeah. And this operation time is really very important for me because after four hours, is uh, blood embolism risk increases very uh, highly. So short time is really important for me, and my team is really very expensive, and I do surgeries really very rapidly. Mm -hmm. I start from bottom to up, <laughs> and yeah, actually this happened. Yeah, I start with breast implant surgeries. In uh, trans surgeries, I always put them in dual plane, dual plane type one, mm -hmm. and it takes about 15 minutes. And I moved up, so we did an Adam apple shaving. And actually, people people really don't know about it. And it's really very uh, an easy surgery for an experienced surgeon because we do very frequently face and neck lifts. And I also do uh, tumor excisions and other things, reconstructive surgeries. So this anatomy is really very important. If you know the this type of surgeries, it's really very easy. But if you are not experienced about it, you can have really very botched results. Uh, and for Lila, we did it and I shaped it about two centimeters. Uh, there is no injury to her vocal cords or any other uh, nerves. Now, although it's really very swollen, it's really very feminine, very uh, natural results. Mm -hmm. And her scar is really faded in her crease between her neck and the other areas. Mm -hmm. So there will be no scar visible and it's really very small, two centimeters long. Yeah. We can do the surgeries very safely and we can have very nice results. There will be no scar will be visible and all of the edmaps was gone. And then we moved to her nose. It was a crooked nose. Uh, yeah, she had a trauma before, most probably, even she doesn't remember. It can also during the baby time. Yes, yeah, I think okay. so. Yeah. It was all deviated and she couldn't breathe. 
All though she did, doesn't know, and I fixed her breathing issues. I fixed her shape. I put new graphs on her face. So it's really very solid. Mm -hmm. Because in the uh, previous one, for surgery, it was so weak and it was really hard to breathe. I fixed all breathing issues and other things. And for her face, I did a uh, brow lift, lateral brow lift. I did a cat eyes and mid face. Not full face, mid face, lift, but I moved all of these tissues top. She has only a little scar in here, about two and a half centimeters. It's all in hairline. There is no scar on her face. So there will be no evidence of surgery in the future. About one year later, she will have no scar because when hair growth this happens again, she will have no scar. She will have a brow lifted. She will have a nice tilted eyes and mid face lifted. But we did a bisectomy. Also, I rest on you because uh, it will be so shallow. I removed uh, partially her buccal fats. We removed about 3 cc from each side. Even now it's very swollen. She has a nice cheekbones and jawline. Yeah. About 2-3 months later this swelling will be gone. So skin will be stretched. And it will be more prominent that she has a cheekbones and jawline. Because uh, for the breast, most of surgeons prefer to put about 300 cc for the starting, but we have so much experience with the trans uh, patients. So, this is, this is what you put in? Yes, this is 500 cc. We used a mentor for her 500 cc. And this is the size that we put in. We put it under the muscle in the upper part and under the, her breast gland, lower part. Her scar is very, really very heightened in her crease, so about in the future she will have no evidence of surgery. But now she is yeah. very swollen, it takes about, uh, the nose it takes about one year and the rest... All full recovery she needs mm -hmm. one year, but uh, her skin is very, not so thin, thick. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't have so much swelling, but I already told her that after she removed her bandage, she will, she will have a swelling on her nose, on her face. And we gave her uh, materials to put on it, uh, on them. But two, three months later, she will start to see the results, very nice results, very shaped results. But full recovery can take up to one year. Okay. Uh, a lot of uh, patients are asking for FFS. But uh, I think every person is different. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they should be uh, referring us with her their uh, medical results and about uh, their pictures. We can also do other things for them because we can do shavings, endoscopic shavings without any cuts from here mm -hmm. all the way, small cuts. But of course, in some patients, we also need this cut to lower hairline and make uh, bigger uh, reductions in the, uh, these ones. Mm -hmm. But uh, without any scar, with endoscopic surgeries, endoscopic facial surgeries, we can make really nice results like this. So if patients are applying for it, they have to send everything. So yes. Every patient they should be also honest because okay. sometimes we some patients that they are hiding some drugs that they are using. They mm -hmm. also hide surgeries. They hate them. Uh, we see them. Okay, you hate them, but of course you can hide <laughs> them. <laughs> and but we can have nice result if they are. Honest. Yeah. And we will be also honest for them because we won't tell them any more surgeries that they can have. Of course. Yeah. 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 We will be also honest. They should be honest. Yeah. And Laila, what kind of surgeries do you want in the future? In the future, I would like to have perfect bar a Barbie body. <laughs> so, tiny waist, yeah. hips, and bigger volume in my ass. Yeah. So, Very that much. means what kind of uh, program you have to make for Laila? For Laila, we already talked about. Them, I can make a nice waistline. I can make her uh, muscles two packs visible. We can make J plus one for tightening her skin in her arm crease, 
in her waistline, inner thighs, and I can also use these uh, fats for projection of her hip dips. But she, since she doesn't have enough fat to increase uh, her projection of her butt, we should be using implants. Gluteal butt implants. You will have about five centimeter scars on your uh, gluteal cricks. And these are uh, butt implants. They are very solid. They are small in volume, but they give very nice projection in the butt. It's for example, 300 cc. I have patients, 300 cc, 400 cc, and they give very nice projection. We talked with Lila, and she says it's very so small. small. <laughs> very small. <laughs> if we go more than 500 cc, because we can have complications, we don't want any complications. Of a lot of patients are asking very embarrassing uh, questions. Yeah. If you have butt implants, when can you have sex? Uh, six weeks are our limit because the body he body heals by uh, itself in mm -hmm. about six weeks. So after six weeks, you can have sex. You can sit on your butt and you can do other things. But you should be careful in that time period. Six weeks are is important. And I had another question about yeah. When you make butt implants, I think you should stay, for example, in Istanbul a lot, a longer no, time. No, actually, travel. one week is already enough so, because we always see it. If your scar is good, if everything is good, your blood levels are good. Okay, we ch make your uh, check uh, checkups, and we say if you don't have any problems, mm -hmm. we let you go. But you cannot travel by plane sitting. You can no, you leave. can sit. You can sit. Oh, okay. With pillow. Yeah. 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 You get your BBL pillow. Yeah. And yeah. Then you can sit on your oh, upper legs like, yeah. and no pressure on your butt. I didn't yeah. Know that. Yeah. You put it under your thighs, mm -hmm. so your butt is free, and you can sit on them. The only thing with butt implants is to have a personal hygienic very important. Yes. So after every toilet visit, you have to clean it very carefully. Of course, of course. Oh, and sometimes you have some small openings and we give you some product to use it and after arm lifts, thigh lifts, we always see it in the crease lines mm -hmm. because it's, there is always shielding between them and you have to keep them clean mm -hmm. and I, some results, some patients they are saying I am really very scared, okay I understand you, please use them and don't be scared, it will be okay and after two weeks there is nothing Good. Do you have any other questions? No, I think all my questions are answered. Okay. Thank you. We will be always ready to answer your questions. Yeah. You can ask to be, you, she will uh, direct them to us mm -hmm. and we will always with you. Perfect. Thank yeah. you so much. You're Thank welcome. you. Welcome. Um, <laughs> nice Thank you yes. so much. <laughs> we will be waiting here for photos.